How's it going YouTubers, Cornwall here. I'm back with a video for Forza 5. Um, we've had the new track, the Long Beach track. Um, this is uh, Friday, I'm recording this, and it should have been released on Thursday, but I believe it wasn't or wasn't fully released um, due to either a problem with um, Xbox Live or the fact that Titanfall were pushing out a release and Forza were pushing out a release, I don't know. To be honest with you, um, slightly poor show, if I'm honest. Um, if it is Xbox Live's fault, obviously they've got this new infrastructure and we've not got a massive collection of games at the minute um, on the Xbox One. And I'm sure when um, we get more games on, especially when we get three or four decent releases within a few weeks of each other, there's going to be a time when updates clash. Um, so it's something that they need to sort out potentially the first time so we can let it slide for the first time um, but I do think they need to up the game with with that um, if two games want to do up different updates at the same time and they're two completely different publishers and all that then it's, it's just got to be there and it's just got to be done um, but who knows don't know all the details behind the problems I just know that they were both tried to release on the same day and they both had or experienced problems um, and it looks like Titan 4 either won that little bit of a war or got preference, I don't know, but hopefully um, Phil that's come in to take over, is it Phil that's taken over from head of Xbox One, we'll sort this out. But anyway, um, enough babbling from me, um, we've got a few cars with this pack, um, so I think it's only for season pass holders, so we'll get into having a quick look at these. Um, I didn't do a video for the previous pack. Um, I tried several times, had a few um, technical difficulties, let's put it that way. Um, but as you can now see, uh, when you buy a car pack, um, and, and if you've got the season pass, you now get to buy those cars for free. It's a one time only. So if you did want to buy that car two or three times, it's only the first time you, you get it for free. And it's also backdated through other uh, DLC packs as well. So it, it now makes the season pass and the um, car packs worth buying. So I'm just going to flick through and hopefully we've got the, the cars on here as well. Um, that they've added in. But we shall see. Uh, so I've still got a, free, a few free ones to get because I did buy some of them. And I'm going to be some cars. That looks new. Um, doesn't look like they've highlighted the new cars. That's definitely new. Um, so let me just go back to the start and we'll just go through them gradually. Um, for some reason it's not highlighted the new cars and I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. Um, so they're before. It's going to be a free car. Um, that was on the previous pack, I believe. So was that. That's been on a previous pack. So is that. And that. There we go. So we've got a Ferrari Auto Mobile or Mobile. Uh, 312 it looks like they've done some of the um, these type of street cars um, I'll say street cars there the, the street racing um, that was probably shown on the video um, so we've got a Ferrari Auto Mobile 321 um, which is in R class so I might buy that and give it a go in a minute so it looks like we've got looking at this Ford one as well some of these old school racing um maybe very old indie cars i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sure someone might be able to leave me a comment below let me know um oh 
Ah, oh, there we go. A D-type Jaguar. That definitely is a new one. Um, interesting. 1956. Um, yeah. C-class. Quite, quite um, shocked that it's C-class. To be honest, I wonder. I thought it'd be D. Yeah. Um, looks like that could be decent enough. Um, here's another one. The Stratos, HF Straddle, um, so that looks like it could be a decent, I know the, the Lancia cars are very popular in D-Class, so doing that up to um, would be 400D um, could be very good in the D-Class leaderboards, so we might have to uh, give that a go, um, the launch on that is pretty good for saying it's D, so uh, I'll we'll have to have a look at that. Um, do apologise if I go a bit quiet because it's all new to me as well. So we've got the AMG Mercedes CLK GTR in S-Class, which looks a bit horrific if I'm honest. Uh, it looks like it's, I don't know, like one of the uh, the supercars and a Mercedes has made love and given birth to something very bizarre. Um, yeah, not really done much with the Mercedes, but you'll have to see what that can do, maybe. Very strange looking car, pretty horrid. So I think that's it. I think it was just those cars that there wasn't many. Um, but what we'll do, we'll go back and um, which one looked better? Do I want the Ferrari or do I want the Ford? Both of which we've got plenty of. I'm sure they could have picked something else. I would like to take that out. Yeah, screw it. Let's take the Jag out. Um, just going to go default colours here. And we will take our first lap around the um, the Long Beach track. This is your 1956 Jaguar D-Type. So I'm um, just going to cut this video here, just uh, so you're not sitting through all the, the loading screens. Just wanted to let that woman um, do a quick chat. And we're going to go here, Long Beach. So there's three tracks to choose from. So you've got the full circuit, the east route and the west route. Um, so we'll go the full circuit, why not? Take a look at the whole thing. So I'm just going to... Um, mm, interesting. Assist and difficulty if you press X. So it looks like you can change your assist. Um, at different points in the game now, which is good. So it looks like that's been a new addition that we've just found together there. Um, interesting. Um, that's just the X button down in the bottom right corner. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip, skip, skip the uh, cutscene and the loading screens and things, and uh, we'll be back on the track shortly. So here we are. This looks very. Um, and I've seen this car somewhere, I'm not sure where, but right, let's go for a taz around the... What in Lord's name? Yep, that, that pulls off like an absolute bitch off the line. Um, sounds quite nice though. So this is Long Beach. It reminds me a little bit of Monaco. Um, I'm sure that. Oh shit! I'm not going straight on there. Um, <laughs> there you go. Everyone has the fails. The uh, the glass on this. I'm going to blame the glass on this for it being tinted. Oh my 
God. This car's weird. Right. So, uh, yeah, the glass is slightly tinted on it, so I can't see my braking line that well. Um. God, sorry. Wife was just uh, signalling something to me then, and uh, lost track. So, it looks like quite a decent track, if I'm honest. It's uh, fairly wide, a few nice corners. It's the first time I've actually driven on this track. Um, I think I read on the forum, on the website, that it's the first time it's been um, in a Forza game, which is quite nice. I'm wondering if with the, the Forza, uh, the car that they've got now, which is I think I heard some amped up uh, Google car that um, that they take around the tracks. I wonder if with the motorsport season starting up around the world with the better weather coming, that I wonder if we're going to see more tracks coming. It'd be nice. I know a lot of people, me included, really want Nürburgring, but I'd also like to see classic tracks. Being British, I wouldn't mind Donington, that and the fact that it's just down the road from where I live. Um, and maybe Brands Hatch, uh, Monaco would be a nice track um, and I'm sure that there's lots of others out there um, I know there's lots and lots of tracks out of other um, Forza games that I've played that I can't think of the name off the top of my head right now but I know there's some some good ones that um, that I've, I've raced on before that are missing but, uh, but yeah, this one seems pretty good. It's more of a, it does have that, uh, which it is a street circuit, but it has that feel to it. But also, it's nice that you've got the fences up and it, it's ready for race day type of thing, So which is really nice. So I'm just going to complete this lap. Then I'll leave this video from there. Um, I've got a, a few videos coming, been a bit quiet recently. Um, just been stacked at work, it's been pretty busy. Um, so, but I've got some comments comments some content coming um, shortly um, more stuff with Rock King Money Man and um, Stella Stig coming up uh, we've all uh, found some really good friends on um, in each other on uh, YouTube so we're doing a lot of collaboration stuff all coming up with different ideas uh, trying to keep it fresh so um, yeah, stay tuned um, I've got a channel update coming, so uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Um, I just want to thank you all for your support as well. Um, I'm at 99 subscribers, uh, nearly at that 100 mark, which is not a lot, but to be honest with you, this is just a, a bit of a hobby for me, and uh, for something that I've just started up as a hobby and something to do, it's a uh, fantastic achievement, and I just want to thank everyone for their support and their comments and everything. And hopefully we're going to get bigger. Um, see what comes in the future. So that's uh, so that's a couple of laps around the. Um, let's see what's down here. Um, the parking bay. So I'm just going to park it here. Um, so that's just a couple of laps around um, around the Laguna Seca track in this uh, Jag, which is pretty awful. But I'm sure with a bit of tuning it might be alright because it just doesn't want to go anywhere. Even when you rev the tits off it, it just bogs down, which is a bit like my Reventon. So um, don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, comment and all those wonderful things and I'll see you in another video shortly.